Hey everyone, Genji out here again. Finally, finally from my haul. It came out on Wednesday number eight. So you may notice the camera is hopefully less shaky. That's because I finally wised up and invested in a little arm for it. So hopefully these won't look so bad. Now, it came out on Wednesday number eight is another great addition, of course, because Log is here. Uh, as well as two other main stories. This issue is a little interesting to me because in previous issues, what you have is a lot of very short stories. Um, and this one log is five, I believe, five pages. And then the others are uh, a little bit longer with a couple pages of filler in between. But other issues have had like six or seven stories that were, uh, you know, five, six pages. <clears throat> so let's start off with, man, this cover is great. If any of you ever have a chance, <clears throat> if you live near larger bookstores, uh, Barnes & Nobles, or something larger, independent, check out the magazine section. They have a lot of magazines like... Uh, I think one of the titles was Amazing Fantasy. They would have these anthologies of fantasy or science fiction short stories. Definitely check them out. A lot of very cool ones. This is very reminiscent of something that you would see from back in the day. All right. So, thumbs up, Javi Lapara. And let's go inside. So the first log. Yes. Why do I keep bringing up log? Log is the perfect example of satire done well. What do I mean by that? If you look at this style of art, it's very reminiscent to old John Bishima Conan books. It's not 100% the same, but it's similar. But we get a little fun poking at the subject matter because our main character is a giant log. When you're doing satire, when you're doing comedy, it has to have an element of truth. You can't just completely make something up. So the authors of this, I believe is Ski... Yeah, Ski... Suharski? Although, it says words. Does that just mean he wrote the words later and Bob Barry wrote the script? I don't know. I don't know who's writing what. But, at any rate, as far as the story goes, whoever put this together really understands the old fantasy tropes. They clearly have read a bunch of old Conan the Barbarian or Savage Sword of Conan from the 80s. And... They mesh it up in a way that's funny, but respectful. Uh, there was issue, uh, a couple issues ago, there was a story where Log follows a lady back to her home and gets infested with termites. That's funny. Uh, I, if I had ever, or if I ever talked to whoever wrote that story, I want to ask if that has something to do, like, if it's based on an experience, picking up a girl at a bar and going to their house and getting an STD the next day. But at any rate... Oh, so here it says story by Ski Suharski. So I guess Ski wrote this. But this is great. This is only five pages. We have Portal. Demon comes out of the portal. Log and a Gandalf-looking wizard have to fight it. <clears throat> and resolve. This is what you need to do. You need to be able to have certain story arcs or whatnot within a small area. So after that we go on to, I believe this is Agent 87? Yeah. By Robert Geronimo. 
Uh, art by Patrick Smith with inks by Michael O'Shea and Esther Radula on colors. I bring it up because actually I really like these colors. They're very effective, especially on this newsprint kind of paper. It almost seems as the, the more I see uh, in time, like I see better and better colors in Alterna Comics. But, uh, so at any rate, we have Heist or whatnot. We got Agent 87. Very cool little car chase. Flip a couple pages. Uh, there is Baroness Barnier. Very cool looking character. I almost wish that there were more scenes where I could see the whole... Uh, her whole get up. But finished up. I believe that there's an Agent 87 book coming out not too distant future. So if you like what seems like a superhero, but kind of more like the shadow, perhaps, uh, a little bit more gadgets than, I don't know powers from radioactive animal bites, uh, this might be for you. Got, man, I love this. Some of the interior arts that are just sort of like one-offs, throwaways, this is great. No humans allowed. You got the different monsters, different alternate issues. I couldn't figure out who did this, but this is really nice. All right, then we got uh, Granny State Comic Con. Interview with the artist, Rat and um, Mr. Crypt. All right, and then this story is great. Gods and Gears. It takes place, starts off South America, 1890. And this is a little time-hopping adventure. Now, I think Gods and Gears was a series before, and they're about to release another one. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like I miss... Like, I'm always jumping in in the middle of these series. But... Um, talking about... This lady's boss... Oscar Molina. So this uh, it starts off in 1820, finds a map, somehow is able to travel through time. Uh, this guy, he wants to be an alchemist and a healer, but of course, you want to make some money doing it, right? So that's what he's going for. The only thing I didn't understand were these giant mushroom-looking trees, but I assume we'll figure it out. Now, he goes through a bunch of different eras, different times. We've got the Himalayas. Uh, we got the Himalayas there. Uh, Nepal, 995 AD. We've got Old West. We've got uh, North Africa in the middle of the 14th century. So, about his own time, New Mexico travels back to dinosaur era, and then um, into the future, somewhere on Alpha Centauri. Comes back, Mycelia, South America. All right, Mycelia, so I would assume these are mushrooms. Um, and perhaps in the series we'll figure it out. Uh, but... This is sort of a retelling of his grandma's adventures. Gods and Gears is coming out soon. Uh, I think this looks like a pretty cool story. I really like the colors. Like I mentioned earlier, um, all these colors work pretty well. I don't see some of the problems that I saw with earlier alternate issues. And uh, the color choices, not bad, very fantastical. This looks great. 
this is actually doing what I said not to do with blending colors. But at this scale, uh, at a full page, it looks pretty good. Um, here you see more flats with like a little bit of a gradient. They work pretty well. And, you know, this is a freaking comic book, man. You gotta have colors that pop. Boom, blues, greens, yellows. Like, some of the other ones, you have one color, two color, very dour or morbid color scheme. Um, but this is, this looks like an absolute action, action and adventure romp. So, written by Ryan Wynn, words, inks, and colors, Dean Kotz for pencils, and Wes Locker for letters. Uh, this is definitely a buy for me. I'm definitely going to review probably the whole series. Um, it's easier to get 10 minutes of content out of a whole series than just one book. But um, Gods and Gears, this map of mishap, definitely check it out. Came out on Wednesday number 8. Check that out as well. And I will definitely be back for number 9. So if you like this video, click subscribe, uh, hit the notification button. I really appreciate any comments you have down below, and I'll see you soon.